It's Jamie and Ellie. We're here in Kensington Market and we have just overeaten from a variety of ethnic foods globally. I have eaten so much, actually, I may need to loosen my belt. Yeah, and speaking of an atmosphere of looseness and openness and open clothing, the market has not only foods from all over the world, but people, clothing, and I don't know what this is, but we're gonna find out by exploring some of the interesting shops in this neighborhood, shall we? I'd like to take my clothes off. Sure. We'll blur it out later. Joyce and Hannah Wayne, these are our tour guides, the intergenerational tour guides. They're helping us explore the market and all the interesting shops here. Market this thing. is the quintessential Kensington Market shop. Jewish, obviously. Very Jewish. In its yep. origins. My parents own the store. We've been here for almost 30 years. One of the oldest stores in the market. Most of the businesses here are family owned. So I feel like that's one of the things that makes it really special. Um, and a lot of the times the kids take over like me. <laughs> what do you sell here? What is all this stuff? We do new imports. We used to do vintage and secondhand before. That's actually an ashtray. Oh, this is an ashtray. This is, an ashtray. <laughs> this is a real <laughs> conversation starter. <laughs> I find this kind of funny. I find this not funny at all. <laughs> okay. Threatening. Thanks for letting us in. Most people don't do that. Are these uh, dream catchers? They catch bad dreams? Ellie has a lot of nightmares. Yeah. I have a lot of nightmares about Ellie. They're in Yiddish. <laughs> Can we take a picture with you? You want us to take a picture? No. no. With us. You, you no. Want, you want a picture with us? We're part of the. We can be in your pictures if you want. <laughs> your wife is Polish. <laughs> well, there is. It's probably a bit Jewish. Polish. You never Jewish. know. Yeah, I would agree with you anyways because you're holding sharp tools. Like, this is a tool, but you don't need this tool, you need your mind. These were houses, single story houses, duplexes. Uh, row houses built by uh, Irish, Scottish, and British immigrants who were here sort of before the Jews moved in. You can see a lot of the Victorian features, mm -hmm. and a lot of these sort of the Eve, the Queen Anne style. Mm -hmm. And then later on, they were converted into storefronts on the ground floor, a lot of these. Alone on Kensington Avenue, you had seven poultry sellers, which all had the same residence listed in the 1925 city directories. You had eight dairies that also listed the same residence. So you see sort of like a hybrid of a commercial residential neighborhood. People are literally living in their shops, groceries, poultry sellers, butchers, dairies. It was more sort of where you did your sort of market shopping, which remember was done every single day. There was no refrigeration. No refrigeration, the Jamie Elman story. I'm wearing... <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's fine. What do you think? You think it'll fit me? No? Okay, thank you. But it'll look better on you. I've got a mission. It's just a simple thing. I have one ambition. To have the right to bring you your coffee in the morning And kisses in the night It's my desire to do as I am told To have what you require and never have it go Your coffee in the morning And kisses in the oh, night sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, okay, 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 sorry, sorry Sorry, we'll buy something next time. Sorry. 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 Hey, okay, okay, no okay. personality, okay. no service. Okay. 
Kensington has always been a place where people who are persecuted in the rest of Toronto can come and have a safe haven. So whether you're Jewish or new waves of immigrants or an old hippie or a pot smoker or a vegan or a punk rocker, Kensington is a place where you can belong and be safe. And not for the first time either, because this was the site of sort of one of the most famous bootlegging industries in all of Toronto. There's a counterculture that's here. Definitely and, and defiance. Defiance is, a, is a, yeah, the outsiders. Absolutely. And, uh, and, and the bootleggers. And now I think this tradition of the bootlegging seems to have made its way into the cannabis culture. A lot of these places were Jewish bakeries, and now it's a place where people come to get baked. On that note, Maybe just for educational, right, you know, for, sure. for yeah. to, to explore the Medicine. Culture. yeah, yeah, cultural yeah, yeah. rapprochement as we sure. try to get a sense of, you know, let's just get high, Ellie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get high. High, high. high. Uh. <coughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So that's getting le in Kensington Market. There you have it. Kensington Market is a place for food culture and cannabis come together in a virtuous cycle. Yeah, the immigrants and the hippies and the hipsters, and even with the gentrification, it's just, it's a place of love, man, That's, acceptance. And that is deep. It's beautiful. Guys, you didn't even smoke anything. No. <laughs> Let's go <laughs> eat. Sure. Let's get a churl. Kensington Market never gets old. It's the perpetual adolescent. It's always changing. And it always changes, but it always looks kind of the same because it's generation after generation of immigrants fleeing from oppression come and live in Kensington Market and make their home here.